It's JC400. And we back. What's happening, Empire? Hey, man. We're going to get right back into it. You feel me? Heart chakra. Fourth energy center. Y'all know how it go, man. I'm going to spit the facts and we're going to talk about it after. Let's get it. So your heart chakra is your fourth energy center found in the center of your chest. It's not traditionally where you would think the heart is. It's directly in the center of your chest. It fills our life with compassion, love, and beauty. I'm going to get into that a little bit later, man. Compassion, love, and beauty. The energy is driven by transformation and integration. It bridges the earth and the spirit through your aspirations. So it allows you to build that bridge and that connection to the spirit, right? The spirit world, your spirituality, even your higher self. It bridges that to your ego. You know what I'm saying? Your ego, your third dimensional self. It brings them together and helps you form that distinction, right? This chakra is associated with love for oneself and others. Relating slash relationships, compassion, forgiveness slash acceptance, transformation, ability to grieve and reach peace, compassionate discernment, and center of awareness. So, getting into that, y'all. Earlier I said it fills our life with compassion, love, and beauty. So our heart chakra fills our life with these things. But, it doesn't say you're forcing these things on other people. Right? Right? Because y'all, y'all got to realize, before you can help anybody else, you got to help yourself, right? I just want y'all to get that in your heads because then you don't really understand this. So your heart chakra is your heart chakra, and it's filling your life with that compassion, love, and beauty because that's its job. It knows that if you don't have that self-worth, that you there's no way you can impact others if you don't love yourself. Let's get more into it. Love. It's not telling you to force your love on others. It's not even telling you to love others. Your heart chakra doesn't do that. It's programmed for you to love you. It's programmed for you to find yourself beautiful. It's programmed for you to find compassion in yourself. Not for others. But later on it goes on to say, it's associated with love for oneself and others. Right? So you love yourself first. Then you have love for humanity as a whole. But you're not in love with somebody. You're not in love with that woman. With that man. With your parents. You know what I'm saying? Your siblings, your kids. You're not in love with them. But you have love for them. Right? That's what it's getting at, y'all. That's why... The most high, if you were meant to be in love with something, people, then people wouldn't be going through heartbreak like they do, you know, thinking that they're in love and then it seems like it's not reciprocated, right? Because the most high does not want you to do that shit. The most high wants you to have love for all, right? But be in love with yourself. Let's keep going. Relating in relationships, compassion, forgiveness, acceptance, right? It's allowing you to become the bigger person and to have so much love and self-worth for yourself that you're able to forgive, not forget, but forgive and accept. Because you have that much power and you know that you're giving your power away when you allow things like that to hold heavy on your mind and you're giving it your energy. See, your heart chakra combines earth and spirit. And your higher self, your spiritual self, 
knows what giving your energy away is. And it knows how to attract more energy and sustain its energy. Right? I mean, it's the eternal you. Ether, eternal you. Let's keep going. The ability to grieve and reach peace, compassionate discernment, and center of awareness. You become aware of your surroundings. To be more specific, you become aware of your inner surroundings and your outer surroundings. You are aware that you have a whole chakra system and that you have an ego and you have a higher self through your heart chakra, right? And then you're aware that there's other beings in this world that aren't necessarily here for your best interests, but there's some that are here for your best interests. This is the center of awareness that you find through your heart chakra. Man, these chakra systems are powerful. That's why the Most High bestowed them on us. Right? And reaching peace, y'all. The ability to grieve and reach peace. You can never reach peace until you've brought attention and accepted the things that you've done in your life, your past life. And realize that you're only human and it's not about the past. The past doesn't exist. And the future is not here yet. It's the present. And once you realize that, you'll reach peace. When you find out that that when you die, you reach the highest consciousness. Dying is a reward because you move on. You do everything right. You pay attention to yourself. You know, you buy in. You're going to go to a higher consciousness. And you've won. Right. See, all these is what your heart chakra is teaching you, y'all. Like I say before, research this shit. Fact check me, find out and let me know what you find out. You know what I'm saying? It's all about knowledge, spreading it and implementing it. Hey, man, we on the grind road to Millie, road to Billy. We got more coming. It's JC 400, man. Hold up. Peace, love, prosperity, 999, and we out.